Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Another neat filter that you can use with images is Correct Camera Distortion, which corrects many different distortions that can happen when taking photos. For example, taking a picture of a skyscraper in a large city while you're on the ground gives you a distorted view of the building. You can correct this by choosing Filter, Correct Camera Distortion from the menu bar. Now in the Correct Camera Distortion dialog box, you'll first want to make sure that you have the Preview button already selected if it's not, and this will allow you to see your results as you make changes. Underneath that we have all of the different correction options that are available to us. And then underneath the preview pane, we have a button for show the grid, so you can toggle that on or off to show that grid. And of course you also have a color picker so that you can adjust the color of the grid if you'd like to as well. Now under the different camera distortion options we have first off remove distortion and this is for correcting a couple of different distortions first is called lens barrel which is a bloated image in the middle caused by wide angle lenses it also corrects for pin cushion for images that appear pinched in the center which can sometimes be caused by zoom lenses you simply click on the slider and then slide it to affect the image and correct it as needed. Underneath that we have the vignette area and this adjusts the lightening and darkening around edges of photos caused by poor lens shading. A lower midpoint value affects more of the image. Again you can simply click and drag to change the image. Now, of course, at any time, you can also just enter a value in the text boxes. Then we have our perspective controls right here. Vertical perspective allows you to correct distorted perspectives caused from a tilted camera, and horizontal perspective allows you to correct for blurs caused by the subject or camera moving. Underneath that, we have the angle correction which corrects distortion caused by a tilting camera. This allows you to actually rotate the image. You just click and drag that to use that. Or you can enter a value in the text box as well. And then underneath that we have edge extension. And the edge extension allows you to fit your image to scale after correcting your perspective. So let's go up and change this image and we're going to affect the vertical perspective. We'll click on the slider and drag it to the left and you'll see the perspective change. After we've done that, we'll go ahead and click on Edge Extension and drag that out. And then when you're done, you can simply click OK and you'll see that it's changed the perspective of the image that was taken. So you can correct a lot of different distortions that happen when you're taking pictures. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.